And we do want to make one clarification since we heard from the emergency managers in Dade. Uh, something that the Broward County emergency manager said. They talked about how roads are going to be closed off in Broward County uh, right about now at 3 o'clock. In fact, it's 15 minutes after the hour. Right. That was really kind of a, a misstatement, maybe an yeah. overstatement. What their point was that deputies are going to be work pulled in many directions so yeah. they cannot respond to minor accidents out on the roadways. So they would prefer that you stay off <laughs> the roads from 3 o'clock on, yeah. which is now in Broward County. And Max has said that, too, that we need to stay off the roads. In fact, Dr. Nab has said that as well, the director of the National Hurricane Center. We are lucky enough to have him with us once again. We have an opportunity to talk with Dr. Nab. Uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, we do want to ask you about the eye of the storm. We should not concentrate on the eye of the storm right behind you there on your graphic. We should really focus on the outer bands and where the storm is going, correct? Yeah, focus on the hazards. What wind, what water could you be dealing with where you live as the evening goes on and overnight tonight? And I see plenty of reason to be staying indoors and off the roads. I'm not letting my family get out on the roads. I'm not gonna be driving around uh, throughout the evening. This is a situation in which the frequency and the potency of the rain bands will increase as the day goes on. And tonight, we're gonna have a solid period of winds of tropical storm force, not just at the coast, but inland as well. We're already measuring winds near or at tropical storm force on the coast, even in Palm Beach County and uh, you know, close to it in Broward County. And the heavy rainfall makes driving very treacherous. You know, if, you, if you get into an accident in that kind of bad weather, uh, injury and death could occur. I mean, why risk it? And if inland flooding occurs, uh, then you could be another statistic in, in a long line of folks over many years, one out of four people that die in landfalling tropical systems in the U.S. die because of inland flooding, often in their cars. And Rick, at this point, do you feel that people have to be prepared for the worst around midnight, really an overnight kind of event? Or ha what kind of timing can you help us with? Yeah, it depends on exactly where you are, but the, uh, the closest approach of the center of the hurricane uh, would be, uh, you know, overnight tonight uh, if you are farther north, uh, but you know in the evening hours uh, before midnight if you're farther south in your viewing area. So, uh, but it also depends on just exactly what rain bands set up where you happen to be. Uh, you can have a very potent uh, gusty uh, squally rain band set up in one community and then a few miles away it's not so bad. So you might be sharing different stories tomorrow morning about what was the worst part of the storm for you. And Dr. Nab, we have our Max Mayfield who'd like to join you right now. That the Hi, Max. Core, hey Rick. Uh, Hey, uh, December will be here before you know it. Uh, listen, the, the, I've got, I don't know if you can see the graphic behind me, but this is the hurricane center forecast with the, you know, the, the hurricane force winds in red and the, the strong tropical storm force winds in orange are, you know, the core sort of of the hurricane. Do you think, I mean, for Brown County and Miami-Dade County and Monroe County, that should be north of us by midnight, don't you think? Uh, I think so, Max. That's a pretty good estimate of the timing. And, uh, you know, again, if you go farther north, uh, it's going to take longer for things to uh, clear out. So, but the bottom line is, though, you know, everybody should be off the roads and not driving around tonight and not venturing outside, even if bands are intermittent at times, because there can be uh, lulls in between some of the squalls. And I would just urge folks not to be going outside and getting on the roads, for, even for short periods, because you just never know when that next band is going to quickly uh, come on in and if there's a strong gust something could be flying through the air uh, you could get into an accident it's just not a good idea to be outside but you're right it'll it'll end sooner or farther south oh, and how about people that uh, uh, are wondering if they can go to work tomorrow morning in, in Miami uh, Dade and Broward counties well if if I was uh, uh, you know, trying to schedule what I'm going to do tomorrow morning, I, I wouldn't be planning on getting on the roads early because you don't know when those uh, squalls are going to really be ending in your area. Again, it'll, it'll end farther south uh, earlier, uh, but it is, if you look at our forecast track, you know, if you look at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, uh, the center might be off the east coast of uh, central Florida, but you can still have trailing rain bands. Again, go back to the radar and look how expansive the rain bands are. Look away down here in Andros Island, way to the south of the center of circulation. So it's not a point on the map, and it's going to take a while for uh, the rain bands to stop uh, coming on through. So if it's at all possible 
to wait a while tomorrow morning uh, before getting on the roads until the authorities maybe come on on the air with you guys and others and say you know, it, it's now to the point where it's safe to get back on the roads. I think the instructions from the local officials will be very helpful tomorrow morning because you don't know what the conditions of the roads will have been based on the weather that happened overnight. Okay, good. Uh, Rick, thank you so much. Uh, we really look forward to talking to you again. Thanks, Max.